11, 2009, uh, I'm going to be sentenced in federal court for operating a uh, medical marijuana dispensary in Morro Bay. I have no idea what's going to happen. Okay. All right, see so you guys. Thanks a lot right, for being fine. here. All right, John. a victory you feel today for you? Uh, it's a, uh, not really a victory. There's, it's, um, in a way, it's a loss, but it's not a bad loss. Compared to what he was facing, clearly, one year is better than five years is better than 100 years, which was where we started about two years ago. What are you feeling today? Um, at this point, I was almost just numb. You know, I was ready to hear it, get it done, let's move on to the next chapter. I'm really happy with the one year, one day um, sentence. I think most thinking people would really understand uh, prison is not a fun place. We normally reserve prison sentences, at least in this country, for people who have violated the law and who are a danger to the rest of us. Charlie Lynch is not a danger to anyone. He was helping people, period. As for what, how this has affected me, it's uh, been devastating on my life. Um, you know, I filed bankruptcy uh, April 30th. It's been difficult to, uh, you know, to find employment. Uh, it's financially challenging. It's mentally challenging. It's uh, challenging for my family. Um, it's pretty much tested me on all all aspects of my life really going through this. What's the timeline now? When I'm done talking to all of you, I will go back to my office and file an appeal with the Ninth Circuit. And that could take a long time. The nice thing is Charlie Lynch will be um, home uh, with his family uh, while we continue fighting. Do you expect your son will serve any prison time? I do not think that Charlie will go to prison. No, I don't. I think the appeal will be successful, and I don't think Charlie's going to prison. I think we're going to come back here in about a year, maybe a year and change, and have another trial. Of course, at that point, based on the uh, really radical changes that we've been seeing out of D.C., I think the matter might be moot at that point, because I really think that you're now looking at, if not the last, uh, certainly the penultimate, maybe next to last, third to last uh, medical marijuana dispensary prosecution in the United States. I think we're pretty much done. This is an injustice. I think everybody's gotten the message.